Welcome back guys, I'm Steven and today we're going to be unlocking the full potential of the Shopify store design. Let's dive into custom liquid sections. This is a powerful way to add unique features and functionality to your website. So what are liquid sections? Inside Shopify you might be wondering um, what exactly is, let's go for customize. You might see something into the section that says custom liquid. You might be wondering what exactly is this? Well, the Liquid is Shopify templating language. This allows you to dynamically load content and create custom layouts. So sections are reusable models that you can add to your store pages. And custom Liquid sections give you a complete control over the code. So what are these sections? So this section allows you to go beyond the limitations of standard Shopify themes because when you uh, have access to one Shopify theme, you are going to be using this template with all of the sections that are involved into this, in this case, this theme. I have featured collections, I have collection lists, I have rich text, I have image with text, I have image banner. But what happens when I want to add a video with a banner, for example, a video with text? Well, for that, I'm going to be needing to use a custom liquid. So something more specific. Think of it as a custom section. Now, um, this is why you want to add custom liquid sections because it allows you to go beyond the limitations and you can create unique designs, add advanced functionalities and tailor your store to the specific needs. Now, if you don't know how to add a custom liquid, if you don't know how to create codes, you don't have to worry about that because we can look out for an actual code directly here into GitHub. Now, GitHub is a collaborative platform that can help you to look out for codes and much more elements. For example, searched or jumped to, let's go for a Shopify video um, header custom liquid. This will be making, for example, searched that can help you to look out, for example, here code. Or issues, for example, summary. We need to have a different footer design, and basically, what you can do is to um, copy this code and just paste it directly here into Shopify. That's the reason why I use a lot uh, the code element here in the GitHub. If you don't, what you can do is to even just go into Shopify Beater header and into Google. You might be seeing that there's a lot of elements that you can find, even for free. For example, uh, how to add a video background, modify the code to my banner. Or even you can ask the AI to do it, to, to add those elements totally for free. Now, uh, let's access the theme area, right? If you don't know what I just did before, let's go from straight from the beginning. I'm going to go into Shopify, I'm going to sign in. And into Shopify, what I'll be focusing on, here you might be seeing something like this. This is the home dashboard. I'm going to focus into the left section that says the online store. Click here. This should be displaying these sub themes. Focus into the one that says themes. Now by default you have this one, if you want to change from a different theme you can focus here into this element that says basically the theme store. Inside the theme store there's a lot of things that you can look out, whether they will be paid or free versions, so choose the one the best that you like the most, hit into continue and you are inside the Shopify with your new theme. Now just make sure that when you install the theme just click into the one that says three dots and go for published uh, and there we go in my case I'm using this one and I'm gonna try to rename this because I wanted to know what I'm actually using now to access the area of this let's click into customize inside the one that says current theme there we go now let's create a new section inside the area in the theme area, what you wanted to do is to look for the section tab that appears into the left section. We have this template. So this template gives us all of these sections that we currently have in our case for um, our header, our home page. So what I wanted to do is to add a new section. So as you can see, let's click here into the option that says add section and then choose create a custom section. So you just type create custom section you might see that there's nothing here but what you can do is just scroll all your way down and look out for the option that says custom liquid just click on it now let's write our liquid code now 
Uh, the code snippets and explanation of basic liquid syntax. We can show um, some examples how we can display product information, create some loops, but you don't have to be worrying about because if you don't want to focus a lot here, we can just start from basics. For example, uh, let's write something really easily, well, really basics, of course, speaking about the liquid syntax, which is, for example, adding this uh, element, for example, this to and um, I'm gonna click here into dot products and the value once again and I close this. This loops through the products in a collection for a product in collections of products. So I'm gonna just give it in space like this. We can use HTML and CSS within your liquid code to style this your section. Now let's add in schema settings. Now schema settings allow you to make your section user friendly. You can add settings for text, image, your colors, and more. This list uses easily customize the section without touching this code. So for this process, what I'm gonna be doing here is to open a new tab. And let's say that I wanted to add Shopify, or I can even add, ask the tab DPT to help me generate one custom code. And here is your actual code. So always test your section thoroughly, check for errors in your code, make sure it is placed correctly on different devices. Get inspired, look for other Shopify stores for ideas on how to use the custom liquid sections to enhance your install design and functionality. So hopefully this was a very useful information for you guys to give you the power to create a truly unique and engaging Shopify store with a little coding knowledge you can unlock the endless possibilities. So if this got helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Techpress. What kind of custom liquid section are you planning to create? Share your ideas in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. See you next time.